Assalamu alaikum viewers today we will get to know about immunity now what is immunity the basic cause of disease in human beings is the invasion of pathogenic microorganisms that is both bacteria and virus and the power of the body to resist the effects of the invasion of microorganisms is called immunity then what is susceptibility the lack of such ability to resist infection caused by pathogenic microorganisms is called susceptibility now let's get to know what are the two factors which are responsible for immunity the following factors are responsible for producing immunity in human beings they are phagocytosis and antibody formation now let's get to know about phagocytosis phagocytosis means the ingestion of bacteria by certain cells of the body which make them harmless now coming to the antibody formation the nature has given further protection from microorganisms by forming substances known as antibodies antibodies may be defined as a substances formed in the body in response to the presence of foreign proteins and certain other materials in the tissues the production of antibodies in the body is stimulated by the invasion of pathogenic microorganisms such as bacteria or virus the nature of the antibodies depends upon the manner in which pathogenic microorganisms produce their harmful effects now what are the types of immunity immunity is divided into natural immunity and acquired immunity natural immunity is based on age race species and individual acquired immunity is again divided into active immunity and passive immunity now let's put some light on natural immunity natural immunity is attained within the body the resistance to disease is possessed by an individual due to the following factors number 1 is the age majority of children in the age group between 2 to 5 years are susceptible to diphtheria disease whereas adults are immune to it then comes the race while the negroes have a high resistance to yellow fever the white races are very susceptible to it then comes the species men are susceptible to typhoid fever whereas mice are immune to it fowls are immune to plague whereas men are susceptible to it now what do you mean by susceptible here susceptible means easily affected by the disease or the germs now comes the individuals some persons have more resistance against cold and skin diseases than others now what do you mean by the acquired immunity the immunity is acquired by an individual during his lifetime by producing antibodies in the body it is of two types active and passive active immunity is the body takes an active part in the formation of antibodies to develop resistance against disease and then coming to the passive immunity the body does not play an active role in having immunity against a disease instead of this it receives ready made antibodies to produce immunity thank you all my dear friends in my other videos i'll be sharing more information about immunity please comment share like and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon as you can get all the notifications of my latest videos allah hafiz